This is second grade lesson 13, and first thing we're doing is expand the form. So it says write the current place value form to match uh, the expanded form. So first thing we're doing is 600 plus 20 plus 3. So we're going to write for the hundreds, we do 6 because there's 600 here. For the tens, we look here, there's 2. And then for the ones, there's 3. Number 2, 800 here, if you look here, uh, we write 8. And then for the tens is one right here, so we are one. And then for the ones is just seven here. Next is four hundred for four for the hundreds. No tens, so we write zero. And then our ones is nine. Three hundred, so there's three one hundreds. There is four tens right here. And then there's one one. Then write the correct word form for each number. So 426. So write 426. Number two. three let's just do number 10 which is 324 so just say it out and then write it out so 300 so write three hundred and 20 and then 4 finally we write this one 6 hundred fifty nine Next is comparing numbers. So it says compare the following numbers using uh, less than or greater than, less than, or equal to. So 203 for 300. It's so going to write greater than because the hundreds value is bigger right here than this one. Next one is number two. So. <coughs> Sorry. So we look at the ones, our hundreds place, they're both the same. And we look at the tens place, and the four is bigger than three. So you're going to write this side, showing that this one is greater than this one. Number three, look at the hundreds, five and eight. We know that this one's bigger, so you write greater than that. So this one is 11 plus 10 to 21. So if we do 11 plus 10 here, we know that's 1, and then 1 plus 1 is 2, so this one is 21. So it's just asking 21, something 21, and they are equal. Next one, we look at the hundreds first, and then this one is bigger, so we write this one. We look at the hundreds here, both the same, we look at the uh, tens. Both the same, we look at the ones. This one is slightly higher, so we're going to do this one, this side. Let's do number nine. Look at the hundreds. Oops, sorry. Look at the hundreds. And we know that this one, left side is bigger, so we write this side. Finally, we're on world problems. So it says Jasmine has 15 toys. Her brother has 18 toys. How many more toys does her brother have than Jasmine? So we know that we want to know how much more he has than her sister. So we're going to do subtraction. So we do his toys, which is 18, by her toys, which is 15. So 18 minus 15, 8 minus 5, move to the left five times, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, count down, 6, 5, 4, 3. There are 18 candies on the table, Jack eats 4, and Jada eats 7. How many candies are left? 
So first thing I want to do is add up Jack's and uh, Jack and Jaden, how much candy they ate. So 7 plus 4 equals 11. And they're 18 candies. And they want to know how much are left. So they, since they ate 11 of them total, we subtract by 11. 8 minus 1 equals 7. 1 minus 1 equals 0. So it's just 7. Ellie has 24 pens. She also has 90 pencils. How many pens and pencils are there in total? So it wants to know total, so we're just adding 24 plus 19. 9 plus 4 equals 13. We write the 1 up here. 2 plus 1 equals 3. Plus is 1 equals 4. <coughs> Sorry. Finally, Julie walked her dog for 13 minutes. She did it for 12 more minutes. How many uh, minutes did she walk her dog in total? So total means addition. So we'll do 13 plus 12, 3 plus 2 equals 5, 1 plus 1 equals 2. So our answer is 25 minutes total.